quick little walkthrough here of how to deal with a multi-layer open EXR file uh, within DaVinci Resolve. Right now we're viewing that file in Mr. Viewer just to see all the different layers and make it a little bit more obvious that everything is broken up here. Uh, I can leave a link to the Mr. Viewer uh, download in the description. It's an open source, I believe it's open source, maybe not, uh, but it's definitely a free uh, download. Uh, if we go up here, right now everything we're seeing here is five, four different layers, the background, plus this, the reddish color on the bottom is one layer, the couch is a second layer, the end of these words right here is a third layer, and the sparks is a fourth layer. So if we go through, we can just look at the couch, there's just the couch layer, I see the words, there's going to be just the words layer here. So everything is broken up and the file is functioning correctly. This particular file was created with Blender, not that it matters, but just to throw that out there. If we go over to DaVinci Resolve, uh, I've already got it all broken up here. Maybe I'll just do this from scratch. Uh, create a new timeline. That new timeline, this first track would just be a, a solid color. And I'm just going to grab something, we'll toss this right there, change the color of this. This is just to kind of see what we're doing, so it's not sitting on a black background. Okay, so the multi-layer file is right here, drag that down into the timeline. Uh, I'm going to make a couple copies of this, so with it selected, I'm going to hold down the Alt key, drag it over, let go of everything, pop it up one, we'll do that again. Back it over, pop it up one, give a little room here, call this the background, call this words, we'll call this the couch, and we need one more for the sparks. All over top sparks. F B A R Sparks. Uh, I'm gonna hide all these. That wasn't over far enough. Okay, so on the background, what we're going to do is actually, it's already done, but uh, right click onto it, open in the Fusion page. While in the Fusion page, having the input selected over on the right hand side here, you can choose which layer. So, well, I'll just go through. Right now, you see that's just the couch with the alpha background on there. Uh, we want to take the background, background combined, there we go. Come back over, here's our background combined. Toggle it on and off, and that background is solid. Uh, next, we can go into the words, doing the same thing. Right clicking onto the clip, open to the fusion page, clicking onto the input, selecting the words combined, which is what this one's labeled, and there we go. There's just the words over here. And we gotta unhide it. So there's the words. There's the background. Do the same thing for the couch. Sorry about all that. Fusion page, input, couch. There's our couch. Back down to the edit page. Unhide it. There's another layer. And for the sparks. Open a fusion page, input, sparks, back over, there we go. So we got our four different layers out of that EXR file, the sparks, the couch, the words, the background, and then this solid color here, which maybe I can spell a little bit better here and then the solid color. So if we just start disabling everything, the background, as you can see, now we're getting the background of this pink color, the pink solid that we did. Uh, there's our words right there. Uh, couch, so on and so forth. And that's how you can deal with multi-layer files within uh, DaVinci Resolve. And this is with DaVinci Resolve 18. Hope it was useful. Take care. Bye.